Hey, what up, everybody? What's up, everyone? How you guys doing tonight? Uh, this show or talk, or whatever we're gonna call it. Hold on a Is going to be on how do you get a ride home when all of your options are out, but you still have 20 bucks and you're a male. Okay, that's the uh, caveat to this one, uh, the catch. Male, uh, as a female, might be a bit more difficult and not, uh, well, maybe more e easier, but... Uh, Risky. Anyways, let's get to the point. So, get off work, right? I can't get a ride home from family. So I post something on Instagram saying vaguely, Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm in such and such city or location. You don't need to give the exact location, but something close to it. I'm getting really hot. Uh, and then say where you want to go, the city where you want to go. And then be like, I got 20 bucks. Does anyone want to make 20 bucks helping me out? You know, give me a ride. And, uh, and then you post it, right? And no one responds for a while. And then you're like, uh, so fortunately for me, where I work, there's a gas station down the street so, and I guess station gets a lot of traffic in the, over the weekends, a lot, because everybody's either coming or going to Malibu or from Malibu to LA. It's a, whatever. So it's an opportunity to solicit yourself and be like, and it's very hard to do, right? I don't, this is a lot like, not, I don't expect everyone to be able to do this, but here, challenge yourself put yourself out there in a, in a situation that you're going to actually grow all right like what i mean by that is saying like when you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation and we don't have to use an extreme situation but we can use mine <clears throat> you're giving your chance to grow because you're sitting in that uncomfortableness right uh, and you're forced to have to do something on, on, like out of your norm or out of your comfort zone to get what you want or to basically to get where I want to get to, to go home, to sleep, to, uh, so I can work the next day, right? So I, you know, asked some people, at, you know, parked, filling their cars up. Some people, you know, they obviously they ignore you and you're like, you know, I've been in that situation in the car at driver and I'm like, who the hell is that? You know, whatever. So when you present yourself well, you talk, you know, clearly or whatever. And you be real. Just straight up be real. Don't be fake. Don't do any of that. Like, like pretty boy, I think I need a ride. Just just be like, oh, this is what's going on. As you've seen, I forgot $20. Is there any way you can give me a ride or are you heading up this way or whatever like that? Um, if that doesn't work, then you walk over to the sidewalk and you go out to the cars and you go like, yo, I got a $20 bill right here and I'm trying to get to Malibu. Can, does anyone want to give me a ride? <clears throat> Would anyone give me a ride? And you, and do that. And it'll, it felt so weird doing it like the first time. I was like, oh my god, I feel like such a, like a, like a, whatever, like something that I never, like, would normally be doing, but, you know, well, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? And it's just, we gotta get into, sort of, you get into survival mode, and I've been there, and I'm sure we've all been there. So, uh, in doing so, by doing that, this gentleman that was parked with his family at the gas station getting some food or whatever... He hollered me back and said, hey, come on over here. And I said, hey, what, what's up? He was like, yo, let, let me see that 20. I was like, yeah. I'm like, are you serious? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, all right. So then he's, he's like, yeah, but hold on, I want to make sure it works. So he gives it to his wife and his wife goes into the gas station, buys a bunch of chips and stuff for her kids. Obviously it worked. 
And then, uh, you know, I put myself in a situation probably not so safe, but, you know, I know, I knew what I was doing. I knew the person I was dealing with. Uh, I, not, I didn't know him, but I, you know, I'm street smart, I'm street savvy. And if you're street smart and you're street savvy, and you can also have a, like, a, a little knowledge of knowing tattoos and how to read them, you can get yourself a lot further than you think. Trust me. I just used my tactic tonight, and it worked. I'm not happy about any of this. This sucks. I came home in a horrible mood, but I came home. So, with 20 bucks, and Lyft was going to charge me 35 but, <clears throat> you know, I put myself in an uncomfortable situation, and, but I did it, and you can do it too. Uh, don't, like, try to get yourself in that situation, right? But if you do, think of this video, and if I can help someone or change somebody's perspective about things, you know, presentation, how you come across, and I'll tell you this, respect, oh, it goes so far. And this situation I had tonight was a prime example. Like, prime example. I can't tell you how, like, perfect. I, I could tell you, but I don't because I don't want to make it too, like, public. But, you know, just treat each other how, just treat yourself, treat, treat, treat each other how you'd like to be treated, basically. And uh, put yourself in other people's shoes. And you'd be surprised, so surprised at the attention you get or the turns, the, the, the heads, the turn or whatever. Just, just like try it. Put yourself in a comfortable position. Do it. Um, that's the end of my show. Uh, uh, if you want to like, if you like this, push like. If you want to follow me on YouTube, you can type Tucker Franklin, T-U-C-K-E-R. And then it's Franklin with the L-I-N. I never put that in the videos before. You also go to me on Instagram at Tuck's blog. No, wait. <laughs> at Tucker MLO. Or you can check out hashtag Tuck's blog for other uh, videos that could be motivating or boring.